Army Reserve honored one of their own today at JBLM. <laughs> Sergeant James J. Holton was memorialized at the United States Army Reserve Center, and the building will be renamed in his memory. Holton joined the Army Reserve in 2003 and was deployed in 2006 as part of Operation Iraqi Freedom, where he conducted patrols near Ramadi and Fallujah looking for IEDs along the roads. Jan Silbert, who was Holton's platoon leader at the time, says there's only one way to describe the soldiers who did that work. They were heroes. I mean, they really were, because you're, you know, you're asking somebody literally to be the first person driving down a road finding, most of the time, visually finding bombs. On February 8, 2007, an IED detonated under Holtum's vehicle during a patrol near Karma, killing him and two others. David Holtum still remembers when he learned that his son made the ultimate sacrifice for his country. It was painful for my wife and I and our family to hear that news, to see those two men come to the door and uh, give us the, the news just like you imagine. Is, is so difficult. But Holtzum thanked the Army for taking the time to show that his son's sacrifice will be remembered. A parent's biggest fear is that he will be forgotten. And, and things like this help ease that in a, in a big way. Now, Sergeant Holtzum was already a decorated soldier, but after his death, he was awarded the Bronze Star and the Purple Heart for his service. But for now, we're live outside JBLM, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.